everyone it's laurie from cook scrap craft and welcome back to the channel today i'm doing a process video using some of my december photos these are not for my december daily i have a separate group of photos to do the december daily um, but because i had separated my december pocket page photos from the december daily photos also separate from the december photos that are getting their own layouts i decided i would go ahead and start with the pocket page for this month I know I said I was gonna be doing a lot of December daily videos and maybe some lives. I really don't know if it's gonna happen, you guys. It's July, there's vacation time that I'm taking, and I just don't think I'm gonna be as productive. But my goal of you know Christmas in July with the December daily and December things, I I'm still kind of kind of doing it with this pocket page because these are still December photos. They're just the December photos that don't necessarily need their own layout and they don't need to be in my my December daily. Why do they not need to be in my December daily? So my idea, my process is that the December daily is for holiday related photos. So somehow I'm going to incorporate the elf on the shelf photos that I took with the photos from holiday things that we did going to a Christmas market, seeing the, um, the fire truck come down the street with Santa on it. Those type of things are going in the December daily. So the things that you're seeing in, in this pocket page here are just things that happened in December. They don't really have anything to do with the holiday season. Um, there's a photo, the very top one in the left, there's a glare on it, but it's a screenshot or not, like it's not a screenshot. It's a photo, uh, an augmented reality photo that my daughter used. She was brushing her teeth with a Pokemon brush app. And um, we started using that at the end of December as a way to kind of like get her to focus more on brushing her teeth as opposed to like dancing around and not moving the toothbrush. So at the end of your toothbrushing session, you get to like pick a, a mask and take a picture of yourself with, you know, she's got Pokemon characters on top of her head. So I added just a few stickers from this Simple Stories collection that I've been using this year for my pocket page photos. Um, it's got a, uh, there's a sticker with, of a phone and then I put the word hello on top of it because that picture was taken on the phone. In the center there is a four by six cutout that says December. I've been using the four by six cutouts that say the name of the month um, on all of my pocket pages so far and I just embellished it a little bit with a pushpin sticker and a butterfly sticker going down below. I chose this orientation for the pocket page for the pocket page because most of my photos are vertical for this month and um, this is actually my last all vertical pocket page so if I want to do something else similar for other months I'm gonna have to order more but I just thought it was gonna be easier to to take this orientation of pocket page since so many of my photos are vertical. A couple of them I am cutting down and I'll get to that in just a second. The other photo I have up on the top is a selfie that I took. I did a news segment with a local TV station talking about hot toys for the holidays. Um, and so I just added like a coffee cup and I can't remember something like something about like the hustle, um, I think is what that little phrase sticker says. And I put that on top of the photo. Some of them I put on top of the pocket page. Some of them I put on top of the photo. It really just kind of depends on my mood. Um, down below, I've got one four by six vertical in the center. That's my daughter wearing a Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer um, nose. It, it lit up for like, you know, 20 minutes and then stopped. Um, but standing in front of the Christmas tree with that, that could have gone in the December daily, but I already had something for that day that I wanted to use. So it's going in here. And then on either side of it, I have two four by four photos. So one of them was printed in four by four. It came from Instagram. You've probably seen people do this at the end of every year. They do the top nine. I think it's really hard to find a top nine for free because the like the official top nine now charges you, which is super annoying. So I always have to it always takes me a really long time to do my top nine at the end of the year because I'm trying to figure out like what site do I use? Where do I go where I can get it for free? So anyway, those were my top nine Instagram posts. So I wanted to put that on there as well. And then I had a four by six photo of my daughter going across a zip line at a local park. We visited um, over the Christmas holidays. We always go visit my dad and there's a playground 
near his house that has this cool zip line thing. So I just cut the four by six down to four by four so that it was equal with the four by four on the other side. And I just used whatever backing was on that Simple Stories paper as my background for those. Um, up over on this side, I've got a photo, a four by four photo in the center that I'm going to back on the back of, or I'm going to put on the back of that um, four by six cut apart that said December. It's covered up in post-its. That's just because it's a picture of the Girl Scouts. And so I don't want to show their faces on camera, but I did some embellishing for that one. Off camera, they hosted, well, the troop hosted a diaper drive. Really, I was doing all the work. Um, that's fine. But we got a lot of diapers donated to our local Head Start organization, uh, which was really amazing. We had two giant boxes. I don't even know how they got them all out. Um, because I was leading the troop meeting while they were taking all of the all of the diapers out to their car, but it was pretty cool. We just opened it up to the local community, um, and some of the some of the family members of our troop also donated some diapers. So that was really helpful. Um, then we've got two four by six photos, so kind of reversing what we saw on the bottom of the first side and doing it on the top. Um, instead of two four by fours on either side, the four by four is in the center and then the two four by sixes are on the outside. And then I was just adding some embellishments on top of each photo. Um, I, I really like doing pocket pages because I feel like each pocket is its own little layout. And I really like just adding, you know, clusters of three types of embellishments to go with the photo, whether that's um, a chipboard sticker, a flat sticker, I might even pop something up on foam dots, um, using enamel dots. I just like making little embellishment clusters that kind of help tell the story of the photo, but without needing a whole lot of a lot of space to do it. Um, so on the bottom of this, because I only had one photo to go down there, and that's actually, <laughs> it's a photo of my daughter actually crying at uh, Target because she wanted this ornament that looked like a crown and I said I was not going to buy it for her because it's not a toy it was an ornament we don't need any more ornaments and she got upset and I was like okay uh, the gentle parenting stuff doesn't seem to work on my kid so after about you know 20 minutes of dealing with this I was kind of like losing my patience but I said I would take a picture of her wearing it so that she would always have that memory and she could always see herself in it as opposed to spending money on buying it and uh, she didn't really pose well for the picture because she was upset so anyway so much fun with kids especially around the holidays when they see everything and they just want everything um but anyway so there's only one photo on the bottom so I have on the left side there's a um cut apart that has a, a calendar on it and if you've watched these pocket page videos before you know that I always circle the dates of all the photos that uh, are included on this pocket page. So that's on the left hand side with another little piece. It's it's only um was it three by four size? So there are two three by fours together. I think it was just the back of um the pattern paper that I used on the other side. So doing these pocket pages, you don't necessarily need a lot of pattern paper. What I've been doing is using you know a cut apart side and then embellishing the back with either a photo and embellishments. Um, and I think that makes it, you're getting double duty out of just one piece of four by six um, cardstock. So then the other piece is, again, the back paper of a um, of whatever was shown on the other side. So I took one four by six piece and I just put stuff on either side. And so here I'm just adding some embellishments because I don't have a photo to go there. So I use the number 12 because these are for December, the 12th month. Um, got a little couple extra stickers in there. Another thing that says December, just so that it also says December on this side too. And I just kind of embellish this little four by six um, card. And I had so much fun doing it because you can just kind of like lay, I, I just love layering up embellishment stickers. I don't know why. I'm a big, I'm big into um, embellishments and getting all those layers, probably because I watch a lot of Chamel videos. Oh, there was my daughter. She was trying to help. She sometimes comes down into my scrap room and you some, might sometimes hear her on these process video voiceovers, but not this one today. She's upstairs watching TV. Here are the close-ups for this. Um, apologies for any glare that you see through the plastic pocket page, but I hope that this inspires you to do your own pocket pages or even use something similar on a smaller layout or a regular layout. And I hope that you come back next week for more process videos. Bye!